Hi friends, welcome back. In previous session, we had seen how to consume the API in ASP.NET Core MVC application. How to read the data by using API, we have discussed in the previous session. In today's session, we are going to create a product by using API. Here, there is a hyperlink. Whenever user clicks on this hyperlink, that form should come for the data entry. And whenever user submits, it should go to the API and it should insert inside the database. This is the functionality which we are going to implement in today's session. Go to the MVC application, open the controller. This is the controller which we used to consume the API. Here I am going to create one more method HTTP get and here I will make it as create this method I'm going to use it for product creation view purpose right click on this action method click on add view here I'm going to select the razor view here I will select the template as create I'm going to select model class here that is product view model click on add here also we are going to use this scaffolding mechanism to generate the views view generated to create a product and here I am going to create another action method to post the data to the API. For that I will make it as HTTP POST. And I am going to create another action method. This is also CREATE. Here we will get the data in the product view model. I will make it as MODEL. Here I am going to serialize the data into JSON format. Here we will receive the data as model. Here we are going to serialize into JSON format. I am going to use the JSON convert here. Serialize object. Here I have to pass model. Here I have to pass the string content. to pass data and I have to define the encoding type here and here I have to pass application slash JSON we are sending the data in the form of JSON here we have to add the required namespace that is system.txt Here I am going to get the response from the API. Here we are going to post the data. Here again we have to pass base address as well we have to pass the controller name and action method name we have to check the action method name here open the web api go to the controller so this is the action name we used for post the data we have to pass same thing here so along with this we have to pass the content If status code is success, then we are going to return this to index view. I will use the redirect to action here. I am going to pass index. Also here we have to check is there any error here. For that I am going to use the try catch. If there is any unhandled exceptions are there, we can handle easily. Here I am going to display this.
here we have to make it as result we will get it as result so that we can avoid this error also once this data is successfully inserted we have to display the message to user for that i will use stem data i'll make it key value as success message and i'll add it as product created this is the message which i'm going to display after the product creation also if there is any error i'm going to display that in error message here i'll display the exception message this success and error message we are going to display globally for that i'm going to use the shared layout.cs html and before rendering the body i'm going to display this message so i used in my previous examples and we explained already how to use this i'm going to copy this content and i'm going to reuse there i'll paste it here we have used the same key value as error message and success message here error and success run the application now both our api and mvc applications are running here i'm going to access product controller so our product controller is loading and uh, this is the index page i'm going to click on create new and we are able to see our form to create the product here we no need of id so i'm going to remove this id here i'll go to the create view because id is identity field we no need to insert any values this primary key so this will be incremented automatically and also i want to add top margin here margin top to i'll run the application once again i'm going to access product controller again click on create new so now id has been removed here i'm going to add one product here I'll add price and quantity click on create so product is created and it is added to our list of products here also we can implement to close this alert automatically that also we can implement in previous sessions already we implemented that go to the ww root here i have created one custom js to close the alert automatically after five seconds this is the simple javascript function which we are going to implement it here i'll go to the root folder js here i'm going to create one custom javascript file i'll create a new item here say javascript file i'll make it as custom here i'm going to paste this i'll copy it again i'm pasting here so this is we are setting timeout for all the alerts like five seconds whenever there is a alert is showing after five seconds automatically it will be closed if user wants to close before this five seconds user can close with close button so now this custom.js we have to add inside our layout.cs html then only it will be implemented globally i'll drag and drop here so this script is added to our layout.cs html run the application i'm creating new product here
create it. So our bootstrap alert is showing here. It should close automatically after five seconds. It is working fine. Like this, we can use the bootstrap alert also inside ASP.NET Core MVC application. That's it for today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.